Greetings! So today I have a special video for you guys. I'm gonna be unboxing a bunch of supplies from Timu, which is an online marketplace that is newly available to me in Canada. They offer a whole bunch of stuff over there. There's really a bit of everything. You can find stuff like fashion or home decor or pet supplies, or in this case, a couple of art supplies and crafting supplies. The principal appeal of the platform is uh, the price, in my opinion, in the sense that you can find a lot of stuff over there for a much better price than you can find on other platforms. At this point in time, the shipping is free and the parcels travel quite fast. It took only a matter of a couple of days before everything got to me. So we'll be taking a look at the stuff that I got. Everything came packaged in a signature orange bag, like this. And I got my items in two separate packages. So let's get to it. From the items that were available to me, I picked a lot of items for sewing. I've been enjoying sewing as a hobby lately, and I thought I would see if I can get everything I need to make a brush roll. So we'll see what I got. So first item is this bundle of fabrics. So it's a beautiful assortment of purple fabrics. Then I also got more fabric. <laughs> if you are familiar with sewing, you know that fabric is usually very expensive. So I was really happy to see bundles available. Of course, this is meant to be a bundle of small pieces of fabric. It's good if you do quilting or small items. And that's what appealed to me. This is 100% cotton fabric, which was one of the things that really worked for me. To continue with the sewing items, I got this little box, which is technically a sewing kit. Alright, so what I have in here is a bunch of various tools for sewing. I don't know what this one is. Um, On the bottom here you have thread, needles. All right, let's unwrap all of these. We're back, everything has been unwrapped. So what I got, I'll go around. I got a bunch of buttons. There are wooden buttons with a print on the front. There's really all sorts of sizes and patterns in here. I got two of these. They contain needles. And what is really interesting of those needles, I won't be able to show it on the camera, but I'll, I'll find a photo, is that they are made to be easy to thread. So that's that. It's a really lovely, uh, beautiful case for needles. I was able to get uh, a bunch of thimbles at a really affordable price. So I like having a few of these because I can, you know, you can resize them. So I can have them sized like one for a specific finger or one for the thumb, depending on how I'm working at that specific moment. I got a bunch of these needle threaders. That's always the thing that I'm looking for when I'm, I'm always losing them and looking for them. So I figured that having a whole bunch of them was really handy. Even though I got the easy to thread needles in here, I have regular needles in there. So that's going to be handy. And lastly, I got a bunch of these clips. I like to use them to hold pieces of fabric together while I sew. I find them easier to use than pins because I would always poke myself with <laughs> pins. So I feel like these clips are a better tool for me. They will hold on the fabric really well. So that's the sewing stuff. I will clear this space out and show you guys what else I got. All right, so next up, I'll take out the art supplies, so the drawing painting stuff that I was able to get. What I was able to find. So I have a bunch of brushes. I got sort of three sets of brushes. I have a lot of these flat ones, a lot of these small round ones, and this set of assorted brushes. I felt like if I'm making a brush roll, I thought it would be fun to have these to put into it. They're not fancy brushes, but they seem to be quite good synthetic brushes, and I really enjoy using these for painting with gouache or acrylic. 
Another item that I saw that I was really interested into is this set of two X-Acto blades with a metal ruler, which is an interesting addition because that's really handy to use when you want to cut a straight line. It comes with like four boxes of refills and different shapes of blades, which is really, really cool. I got some white acrylic markers. So it's a bundle of three, so these are always handy for white highlights when painting. And last but not least, you can see it came really securely packaged. There was some tape over it, but, but I, I removed it before filming because that would have been super noisy. But what I have here is a small light tablet. Like pocket size, travel size, which is really nice. And it's USB powered, so that's super convenient to carry if you have a laptop on the go and all of that, and it takes zero space, it's super thin, super lightweight. I like that it comes with instructions and one side is in English and the other side is in Chinese. I think that's mostly it for the really art supply stuff. I will also show you other stuff that I got and explain a bit why I bought this and how it relates to my work as an artist. So what you see here is a big old mess. I will open and unwrap everything. I just wanted to take a moment to show you just how everything is nicely packed and nothing was really just tossed in my bag and I really appreciate that so be right back. Okay everything is unwrapped. Let's go through all the stuff that I got and I'll explain a bit my reasoning why. Perhaps the most obvious thing here is uh, this clock. You know a clock is always handy when you work and I don't really have one. It came with this little manual which is also very appreciated. So English on one side, Chinese on the other side. The one that I picked is supposed to be orange. Next big thing I have here is a non-slip mat. Which is something I've been meaning to get for a while now but never really got around to it. And then I saw these and I was like, this is perfect. I want to use this in my paint storage drawers so the paint stops rolling around. Here I have a coaster. So it's a silicone coaster, has a really good grip and I like using these either for when I have a cup of coffee or to put under a water bowl when I'm painting. I got this box. Really simple box for storage but I felt like it's a really good size for a bunch of things. Next item is this silicone multi-tool thing. One part is a small scraper and the other part is a really like soft spoon shape. If you've ever had to deal with a mess of paint, then you might be able to recognize just how useful something like this would be. You can scrape off a palette if you have a mix in there that you want to keep. You can mix stuff up with this. So I didn't have a tool like this and figured that this was something that I needed to add to my tool set. So this item is a stand for a phone. I can easily use this to film on a low angle if I want to zoom in on a painting. I can use this to prop up my phone to use references. It's a really convenient item, it's super lightweight and it's super easy to pack and store. Then I got another item that this one might be a bit difficult to show on camera. But you know, it's one of those storage bags. And I wanted to see about using one to store possibly palettes. I wanted to see about using a system like this to, you know, have a palette in each section or something like that. Last item in my bin is these microfiber claws. These, you can either use them to clean up your space from dust. I don't know if they would work well as a way to dry up your brush on it, but they're really nice and soft. And last item is this bin. I'm always looking for bins to either put temporary projects in there or to, you know, organize something for a while while I work on something else. Quite a basic item, but I didn't have any, so I took my chance. And lastly, I got a couple of odds and ends because I wanted to be able to showcase the range of items available on Timu. I'll unwrap these and quickly go through them so you can see what I got. Let's go through everything. These are cookie cutters. Cookies are great. And these are cats. They're super cute. 
So I'm really looking forward to making cookies with these. Perhaps that's going to be a future video. Who knows? On the topic of cats, I got these... You can technically have them hold stuff. There you go. I got this one too. Just how relatable it is. They're definitely something that I do quite regularly. I got these because I thought they were just so pretty. And I love the color palettes of these. Look at these. So they're basically tarot cat stickers, but they're so nice. Like I wish I could find the the you know the tarot they're from. Cat related, but not for me, for the cat actually. You can put this on a table leg and the cats can rub against it. Still cat related. This is a blanket. Also going to be hard to show on camera, but it's basically a round blanket that looks like a burrito. And that just cracked me up so much. So I got the burrito and if the cats don't like it, it's going to be my blanket, but I'm sure they'll like it. It's super nice. It's super soft. It's really, really soft. Last two things, I wanted to check out what kind of clothing was available in there, so this is a pair of pants. It's a really stretchy synthetic fabric with, you know, the pattern printed on top. And lastly, this little box. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to use it, but it's a jewelry box. Basically space for necklaces, space for earrings, rings and other items. So there you have it, that's a bit of everything that I got. If you want to check out these items or possibly some more items, I'll have a link in the description and if you decide to use my code, you can have an even better saving on your purchase. Timu is available either as a website or as an app, so you can shop in any way that is more convenient for you. They often have a lot of sales, a lot of discounts, a really wide variety of items of all sorts and it's a really good place to look for little things that you need for when you paint or for your hobbies. Say you need a watercolor palette, you know just the metal tin to store your pans, well that's a really good place to look for it because you're not gonna pay any shipping on it and you're probably gonna get it at the best price available. I will be working with these items that I got and I will come back with a couple of videos. I want to do the brush roll with the fabric and also maybe try the brushes and the art items. And I definitely want to make some cat cookies. So that's it for this video, this first part. Thank you very much for watching this video. Again, please check out Timu if you are interested by what you see or if you are looking for something specific, they might have it. And if they do, the price is going to be better than any other place. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.